traffic would be so much easier to deal with if you didn't actually have to do the driving part. But fully self-driving cars have long existed only in science fiction. Total Recall introduced us to Johnny Cab, the robot that drove you around on Mars. You're in a Johnny Cab. Tom Cruise's self-driving car allowed him to make a daring getaway in Minority Report. And Wesley Snipes' car could fix itself in Demolition Man. Auto inflate! Auto inflate. Now the fantasy of tomorrow is turning into the science of today. Oh, that is just lovely! Car manufacturers are taking notice. I'm in a self-driving car from Mobileye, an Israeli car technology company. When I'm in traffic, I can switch the system on. That's all. That's it? That's it. The car is driving itself? The car is driving itself. Both the wheel as well as throttle setting the speed. It looks effortless. It is effortless. This is their third generation self-driving car, allowing hands-free driving. I'm not flexible enough to remove my legs, otherwise I would do that as well. <laughs> but... Even capable of switching lanes on its own. I'm asking the vehicle to check if, if it can do lane transition. It checked that it's clear and did the lane transition. It uses a system of cameras and sensors around the car. The system sees more of the road, the cars, the lanes and the obstacles. This is where Mobileye says it's pulled ahead of the competition. The ability to interpret the most complex driving environments. We as drivers do this intuitively. Computers need to be taught to do this. Mobileye says their system processes driving faster. The idea is that the system is collecting all the information that we as human driver needs for driving. Uber has deployed self-driving cars in Pittsburgh with a safety driver just in case. And Google has self-driving cars being tested in a few cities. Mobileye has partnered with BMW and Intel to produce a fully autonomous car by 2021, a sign that the car industry is taking self-driving cars seriously. I asked Mobileye Chief Technology Officer Amnon Shashua about the challenges ahead for self-driving cars. I would compare this to sending a man to the moon. That's one small step for man. It's big. It's That's not, been done, though. Uh, yeah, that has <laughs> been done, but driverless cars has not been done. One giant leap for man. The technology, he says, is available, but it's still years away from being ready for the road. It's very simplistic. You know, the moment something complicated happens, the human driver needs to take uh, control. So they're not, they're not there yet in terms of the kinds of negotiation, the kinds of strategy forming that is required in order to have a driverless car. Self-driving cars remain a work in progress, but perhaps the biggest challenge is acceptance. Would you fly in a plane without a pilot? Probably not. So why would you ride in a car without a driver? Mobileye says for that to happen, self-driving cars need to be exponentially safer than you behind the wheel. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Jerusalem.